Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this one, I'm going to be giving you guys some really good tips to do if you are experiencing input lag when you plug a controller into a PC. This happened to me recently, because I just switched, like, three weeks ago to playing controller on PC, rather than just standard controller on Xbox, which is what I had been playing before then. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first tip I'm going to be giving you guys is to cap your FPS. And I don't really know exactly why capping your FPS makes the input lag go away, but I know for some people that capping their FPS makes the input lag go away. I don't know why it didn't work for me, but if it works for you, that's great. Now, moving on to the second tip. This is going to be playing on full screen mode on Fortnite. If you play Fortnite on a PC, then you have options. You can either go windowed full screen, windowed, or full screen. And if you put it on uh, windowed full screen, if you open up Fortnite, it's not quite on full screen. But you can hit F11, and that makes it full screen. So, um, that is really good. Uh, this helped me this and then the next tip i'm going to give you both helped me because i don't know why but if i don't play on full screen it's like gives me super big input lag so yeah definitely i would definitely recommend switching to full screen if you are not already using it and now moving on to the last tip of this video it's going to be and i know you're probably going to be thinking why didn't you think of this earlier because it took me like four days to figure out what the problem was and for me the biggest problem was i had my batteries from when my controller was plugged into my pc or not was plugged in my PC, it was plugged into my Xbox. I had the batteries still in the controller when I plugged it into my PC. And what was happening was the batteries and the wire connected to the controller were both trying to power the PC, or were both trying to power the cable and the wire that I plug into my controller and the batteries were both trying to power the controller and it just wasn't working. So it, I was getting a lot of input lag. So, yeah, kind of funny there. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. But, yeah, I hope this video did help. If it did, make sure you do drop a like on it. Every like really does help spread the video around. And also, I just want to give a huge shout out to all the new subscribers recently. And if you want to subscribe, just subscribe right now. It's that easy. And, yeah, I'll be catching you guys in the next one.